We have live team coverage on Occupy Portland. We begin with Kylie Voshu, who's been watching it all live up in Sky. Kyle. Tracy, first a late development within the past hour, Portland police announced that he will allow the protesters to stay downtown overnight. The city has suspended the camping ordinance for the two parks where they've assembled. It's around 3rd and Main downtown and quite a crowd still there tonight. Police estimate somewhere between five and 6,000 people were on the streets as part of this demonstration today. So far, this Occupy Portland protest has been peaceful with no reports of injury or property damage. But the group is large and vocal. makes me feel a little bit better. Hey, We're really keeping everyone fed and at least healthy to the best of our ability, obviously. The problem is that they're not repaying the favor by going out and protesting. In the beginning, I was just mostly getting to know the people and the movement itself. But since then, I've become a huge organizer. I'm doing a press release, which I'm sending out tonight for the Portland State Student Walkout. So it's a lot of organizing and planning and networking. Do you want to read that out? It's your walkout on the 16th. It starts at 12. Uh, we'll be going through downtown. Stopping at certain sites. Hi. I'm in the Bethesda Film area. Okay. Yeah. Where, where can we film? You can film off the property, it's just generally. We don't like filming towards the building. Hi, my name is Cameron, this is Brian, and we are organizing the PSU student walkout, which is going to address the growing concerns about the education system with student debt, unemployment, uh, discrimination, and all kind of education barriers, period. What's happening is, hi. Yeah, we're just doing an interview right okay, now. We can't have protest activities on this portico area. You we're not protesting. Out on the patio. Oh, okay. So you need to We're leave. not protesting anything. Yeah, but you're with the protest movement, so you need to leave. Do you think you're missing anything? 
That sounds fine. Really good. Sounds beautiful. What time is it? gather some people to see if they'll come protest with me. Are you guys busy? No, uh, we're just taking off here to set Oh, okay. Are you busy? Would you mind coming out and protesting with me? Oh, uh, sure. Sweet. Hi, guys. Are you busy? Good. Am I busy? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I like to be polite. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to come out and protest with us. And the bed. What's going to replace the bed? Uh, the people? Gold? The people? Because the, the Fed is not anything that is actual federal. It's a private bank. See, I totally agree with that in the Fed. You know, but I just wanted to make sure you were saying the same no, thing no, as no, I was No problem. <laughs> Cause some I of these kids, understand. you know, some of these kids, you know, they go, yeah, take all the cops away and get no, armed bands no. of invaders. And no, I'm not trying to stay out here until you know midnight, because unfortunately I have to work tomorrow. But I'll stay out here for as long as I can until I can't stand anymore. And every time somebody honks, I get a bigger smile. So, uh, <laughs> woo! Thank you. Like that. <laughs> There's been a, dozens and dozens of production companies coming through here, making bank on this thing. Channel Eight, Channel Twelve, they're all making bank on this. I'm sure they're getting their shares out of this. You know, but you know they should be helping us. It's not a movie, it's for real. I mean, our world is in trouble. Thank you. Not, not just the United States, the whole world is in trouble. Next, city officials confront the question of how to deal with the Occupy movements amid reports of problems and conflict at some encampments. Uh, we're going to start enforcing park rules effective 1201 Sunday, and that at that point they're uh, going to be subject to all of the uh, authority that the city has around park ordinances and violations of state statutes. I'm going to try to do the legal portion first about the arrest. What are your goals during the arrest? Is your goal to be as difficult as possible? If you're willing to accept felony charges or spend a long time, maybe months or years in prison, that's fine. What I'm going to be focused on encouraging people to do is not get in that kind of trouble, stay on message, Stay safe, keep everyone around you safe. to the use of force, including chemical agents and impact weapons.
I think everyone should love this country. You know, let's not fight. Let's not compete. Let's not, you know, use our toys against each other. Let's restructure the whole damn thing so everyone can work. Everyone can own something. Everyone can feel like they've got a place, like they're worth something, like they're not just crap, you know, like they're not just, just treading on the hypnotic grind of the zombie treadmill for actually no good reason at all. You know, we, the country needs to be more than that. There's a chaos laden energy, it's residing in the streets, and everyone I see validates its presence. Now it's a